the order, Turner Hill the batter. Hill flew up to left field his first A.B. in the first. On the appeal, did not go around there. There's a great story posted on the Pioneers' website by Tom Perry about Hill and his brother, Kale. When they were just little squirts, Bill, little baseball fans of Marietta, their dad took them to Appleton, Wisconsin in 2012 to watch this team win the College World Series. And took a picture of them, of the Hill brothers, yeah, with 10 the, years ago. The painted bodies. Yeah. They've got the big uh, blue and white uh, paint jobs, body face paint. They put it right on their chests, and then they, uh, they had their favorite players' names painted on the back. They forgot sunscreen, though. <laughs> and then when the paint washed off, they had the the impression on their little white skin. And yeah, they had their favorite player yeah. on display at the beach all summer. Yeah. So, so Dad made a promise that he would take them back to the World Series when they got there. Well, guess what? Dad gets to come anyway because he gets to watch his sons play here in Cedar Rapids in 2022. Great story. The photos are there. You can check it out. At pioneers.marietta.edu. 3 2, Hill fouls it off. Hill went the other way in the first inning, hit the ball hard, but they had uh, Malavi in the right position to snare the liner. They play Hill to hit the opposite way here with two out in the third. Zafiro again. Slasher foul. Yeah, he looks like your pesky prototype leadoff hitter. The spoil good pitches. Not afraid to go the other way. He was the player of the year in the uh, Ohio Athletic Conference a year ago. Co-player of the year this year in the OAC. Zafiro. And lost him. Good battle there between Zafiro and Hill. And Turner wins the war, draws the two-out walk. And he is a threat to run. He is 32 of 39 in stolen bases this year. It's among the top 20 base stealers in Division Three. Keep your eye on him as the All-American Yenzi steps in with two out. Yenzi grounded out the third, his first at-bat. And Zafiro and the cards cognizant of the speed of Turner Hill over at first base. I mean, you're going to hear a lot talk about bashers and people with big power numbers, but what makes Marietta stand out is they're a pretty balanced team. Again, they've stolen 99 bags this year, and there they go. Well, he got an awesome jump. I mean, he was off and running before Zafiro ever got rid of the baseball. And even if he delivers it over to Burton at first base in time, Burton's got to turn and fire and try to get him at second. Well, you can see he got a great jump. Zafiro throws over there, and the first baseman drops the ball. I don't think they'll assess an error. But Burton didn't hold the throw and give Hill a stolen base. Hill got that off of Zafiro. He Timed it perfectly. Had a huge jump. Lineup card for Marietta. Hill will lead it off, followed by Yenzi, then Boyd, and Carson in the cleanup spot. Holderbach, Wittmeyer the catcher, Castle the center fielder, Richter the second baseman, and Wilkinson the shortstop. Thalheimer's the sophomore. Owns a strike to Hill to get things rolling. And gets ahead. Hill's your typical table setter. He's had a monster year. 
436 average coming in with a homer, 51 RBIs, stolen 32 bases. Tried to punch that one down the third base line. Foul, though. It's the co player of the year in the Ohio Athletic Conference. Last year, he won that Bob Fisher Player of the Year award. That'll get down for a base hit. It's going to split the outfielders, go all the way to the wall. Hill thinking three. He'll hold up at second base. He missed the cutoff. Yeah. Man. He almost got the extra base after all. 19th double of the year for Turner Hill, and he's in scoring position right off the hop for Marietta. Third baseman number 10, Damian Yancey. Muscled this one off the end of the bat and off to the races. So there's Hill, now Yenzi's turn. Top of the order in Hill. Oh, he drops down a beauty. And he may beat this out, he does. Issues for the Seagulls. Wilkinson doubles. Hill drops this down, runners at the corners with nobody out. You can tell he's done that before. The sacrifice that they throw him out, it's a hit as astutely as he put that bunt down. No way Waddell was going to be able to throw out to Speedy Hill. And as you say, the Etta Express is rolling here in the third. Allheimer out there to protect the lead, even though he's going to face Turner Hill for the third time. Still double barrel action in the Salisbury bullpen. Joe Brohan, an ex-big league pitcher, knows how to handle pitching staffs. And Shows some confidence in Thalheimer. Turner Hill will lead it off. It's two for two. Then Yenzi and Boyd to follow. And Yenzi's two for two. And yeah, these guys have done serious damage all year and certainly here in Iowa as well. There's a strike. Told the story yesterday, and bears repeating. Ten years ago, Dad took Turner and his brother to Appleton, watched Marietta win their last national championship. And Turner was a little squirt, and his, so was his brother, and they painted their chests and their backs and got sunburned, but they fell in love with Marietta baseball. And now Dad gets to come back and watch them play for a national championship. Count is full. Thalheimer against Hill. And another base hit for Turner. Slops that one between the shortstop and the third baseman. And he's aboard to start the fifth. And Troy Brohan says... That's all we need out of you, Mr. Thalheimer. Gave him a chance, gave him the first batter, but the first batter reaches, and so we'll step aside once again. Pitching change here in Cedar Rapids. Lift to the center. Caster. He'll catch it. Comes up throwing, but can't get it there. Deep enough fly ball. Boyd does his part. And we're tied at five. Castor is a big league prospect if he could throw out Hill the way Hill runs. <laughs> My goodness. But you're right. Bird with a productive out has tied the game. Point did the same thing with their early face. They brought Sidney Ferry out of the bullpen in the third inning. He went the remaining six and a third. And shut the door. Well, the Stevens Point bats came alive and won an elimination game 12-8 against Catholic University earlier. Right field, and Hill made the catch on his horse to get there, and then full extension for out number two. Talk a lot about Hill offensively, and he does a lot of things with the bat. Shows he can flash some leather, too. And again, with the turf wet, it's a little more spectacular with that slide after a nice catch on right field. 
Holds the ball up for the umpire to see. Two down in the eighth. Well, here is Hill. And nobody's on base. He'll try to find a way to get on base, which he is good at, and then hope that Yancey can pick him up. Hill's only hit one home run, so he's not much of a power threat. But like Bob says, he's likely to slap the ball the other way and find a way to get on. Takes a strike. We talked about how tough it is to strike out Hill's counterpart, Cameron Hyder, the uh, leadoff hitter for Salisbury. Hill has only struck out six times all year. How about Brock Hilgis? Goes right after him. Strike one, strike two. The pitch there. Dion. And there's Hill. Doesn't matter what the count is. He finds a way. Winning run at first base with two away. And behind in the count. Slaps the ball in the center field. And we've seen his speed. So if Yenzi finds anything in the gap, giddy up. Be alive for a stolen base attempt, too. Hill leads his club with 39 steals and 39 attempts. They might try to get him in a scoring position. Launch to right. Does it stay in the park? It does. Bounces off the wall. Cameron. Out at second. Quite a play by Hill. He wants it reviewed, but yeah, Hill hustled the plant off the wall, get it in quickly. Well, Cameron says there's going to be a challenge, but you be the judge. Look at how well Hill plays this carom and then throws a BB to second. It's a matter whether he does get him in the helmet or does he miss the tag. Umpire says he's out. I would say out. I think Cameron is saying that's his signal back to say replay. Put the. But this is going to be an umpire review to make sure they get it right. All right, here's all four angles for you. That one's inconclusive. Here's another angle. You see the lunge there to try to apply the tag. It has to reach there, and now it's going to be, does the hand get in before the mitt gets on the body? I would say no. I think it's out. I think he's out, too. And the second base umpire in the right position is very demonstrative mm -hmm. on his opinion. Yep. There. Glove on the shoulder before the hand reaches second base. But we are not paid to make these decisions. And again, this is a pivotal play in a very big game in a double elimination tournament which will determine the national champion. Here we go. Brace yourselves. Give Hill a very important assist. And end of the inning and sends us to the bottom of the tent, tied at five. The Marietta lineup is due here in the eighth inning. It's getting late for <laughs> Marietta, though. Right. Top seed in this tournament, down to their last six outs. As you say, they need their... Big guys, Hill, Yenzi, and Boyd to do something here against Syvertson in the eighth. Hill is 0 for 3 today. First time he's facing Syvertson. And there's a first pitch strike. They've kept Hill off the bases, and he is the igniter for this team. Went 4 for 5 last night against Salisbury. Takes a cut at the 0-1, and it's 0-2. Batting average is at 4.30. For Hill on the year. He is four for 11 this weekend. The 0-2, check swing, 
Appeal to third, no swing, says Donnie Smith, our third base umpire. One and two. Winner here plays Salisbury later today. Allegedly at 4.30. A scheduled start time as of now, 4.30. One, two, low and away. Two and two, it's a really good pitch though there by Seifert Sid. You got a one, two count and you hit your spot. Yeah, Hills had two good takes, one on the check swing and as you say, that pitch was close. Austin Seifert Sid ready. The 2-2 two, two to Hill. Lashes it down the left field side and slices out of play. Over that uh, picnic area. They play Hill to hit the left. He hasn't done that yet today. He's flown out the center twice and grounded to first. He turns on one, but it'll be foul. Into the bleacher seats. Yeah, the center fielder, Nelson, is shading Hill into left. There's a big gap in right center. Another 2-2 pitch. And staying alive is Turner Hill. It's the type of a bat you need if you're Marietta here to lead off in the eighth inning. Down by three, there's a look at the outfield alignment and then a lot of that green space in right center. Nelson pacing around out there in center field. He finally ends up in left center when he stabilizes his defensive position. Breaks outside, count full to Hill. Enzi and Boyd to follow. Good A-B by Hill. Madeline here spoiling pitches. Good takes on pitchers, pitches that just missed the zone. Top of the eighth inning here, nobody out. The payoff. Ground ball up the middle and into center field. A base hit for Turner Hill. An excellent at bat to lead off here in the eighth inning for the Pioneers. That's what Marietta expects from their veteran, and Hill provides it. Cyberson just challenges him with a fastball. He says, here, hit it. Hill says, okay, I will. Well, goes up the middle. He's aboard. And now here come the big boys, Yancey, Boyd, and Carson. But most of all you 